Hey Tiger fans, Ben Rosenbaum here inside Johnny United Stadium for the finale of To The House and we got a great guest, fullbacks and tight ends coach Dan Hernandez. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Ready to take it to the house? Let's do it. Let's do it. So, here at To The House, and we'll get to it in a moment, we always do these speed rounds and so far, I think you're leading in votes and funniest coach on staff. And so, what's, what's some of that Dan Hernandez humor? Um, I think it's, uh, it comes out of, out of nowhere. Um, and it's, it's kind of when it's quiet in the room and someone needs a joke, uh, I kind of pull it out of my back pocket, so. And we see uh, around now, you've, you've brought a phrase with you here, heavy hitters. Yeah. What's a heavy, describe a heavy hitter. Um, a heavy hitter was actually a term that was used when I first got here last year with some of the older guys, the Drayon Johnsons, the manual holders, Tanner. Um, but uh, it, it encompasses uh, quite a bit, you know, it's a, guy, a bunch of guys that are relentless in everything that they're doing. Uh, they're a bunch of blue collar guys that are hard workers um, and just going to com compete in everything that they do. All right, and Coach, so. we are re reaching the 50 yard line right now here inside the U. I'm going to do a little speed round, get to know you a little better. Okay. All right, here we go. Favorite me movie or TV show? Uh, movie, Top Gun. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? South Beach. Favorite food? Sushi. Pre game ritual or superstition, do you have any? Um, not really, no. Funniest coach on staff, and feel free to vote for yourself. If no, you think it's um, John Schwartz, Coach Trick, either of those two guys. Uh, you've been here a little over a year now. Uh, favorite thing about Towson? Um, I'd say the tradition. Um, I say the tradition is, is, is really good, and the culture is really um, unique. Um, you know, that's one of the things that attracted me as a coach, wanting to come here. Um, so I'd say the tradition. If you could play or coach another sport, what sport? Probably wrestling. And favorite coaching memory? Uh, most recently this past season, uh, winning the game-winning field goal at Rhode Island. Obviously, sending those seniors out on the victory is, is really important. So, uh, you know, that's probably one of my favorite memories right now. And something people might not know about you. Um, uh, amateur drum player. All right. Amateur drum player. You and uh, Lyndon Johnson should get a band. Yeah, we, we got a band going. So. All right, 50 more yards to go. Yeah. You mentioned a moment ago uh, guys like Drayon Johnson, Manuel Holder, Tanner Valley. Uh, they're all graduated now, and this is going to be a very new position group now. Yep. Who are who are some guys that uh, maybe you have your eyes on, or people should be on the lookout for, or even what is it going to take for someone to step up and uh, assume the holes those guys left? Yeah, we we got a we got a good group um, of, of talent that we're building right now this spring, um, and it won't be just one guy. It'll be a collective effort of a bunch of actually a bunch of no name guys that are just going to work hard. They're blue collar and going to you know. Um, do everything that the offense asks them to do and you know we'll rely heavily on them to do so. You have a running back like Shane Simpson who can really open up and attack the game in so many different ways. What does that do for you know what does that require of a fullback or a tight end in terms of the blocking or maybe getting out and yeah. opening them up for a pass? Yeah I, I think the biggest thing is just those guys taking pride in having a really good back behind them you know and just saying hey I'm gonna compete and I'm gonna make this block and I'm gonna, I wanna, I want, he's gonna shine through my block essentially. So that's, that's essentially what we're looking for. And coach, so. we've reached the end zone here inside United Stadium. And my last question for you is, what's your outlook for the upcoming season? Uh, I think it's, it's gonna be really good. Um, as, long as, as long as we stay healthy, as long as we have a great summer and we train and we compete, um, and uh, we have a great understanding of what everyone's doing and we're all on the same page, I think we'll have success. All right, so. and we are in the end zone. What would a touchdown be without a touchdown dance? Um, you know, I, I would probably uh, pass it right back to the defender right. if I, he allowed me to score a touchdown, a big dude. So, and then I go celebrate with my teammates. So that's probably what I do. All right, no so. tight ends coach, no Gronk spike, nothing like no, that? No, no, no. Gronk, Gronk's on another level, so we'll see. All right, so Coach Hernandez, thanks for joining us. Thanks for taking it to the house. Thank you. For tight ends coach and fullbacks coach Dan Hernandez, I'm Ben Rosenbaum. For more information on your Towson Football Tigers, head over to TowsonTigers.com. And as always, go Tigers.